hello everyone welcome to this live computer forensic practical so before starting live computer forensic practical we will discuss below mention these six topics first one is definition of computer forensics then importance of hash value then why computer forensics uh, is important instead of creating normal images by any other tool then how do we create computer forensic image then we will discuss prerequisites uh, prerequisites and storage and write blockers and then we will move on live practical so let's come on uh, first uh, topic definition of computer forensics so i'm copying copying here then pasting on my google search and then you can see computer forensic as known as computer forensic science it's a branch of digital forensic science and pertaining to evidence found in computer and digital storage media evidence from computer forensics investigation is usually subject to a same guidelines and practical of other digital evidence all right so at the normal way we can just say that if we are getting a storage on any device which is available digitally that's called a data and creating a image forensically hard drive and any kind of storage but we want to make sure that data should be captured legally and forensic manner that in this platform computer forensics is get in all right so this is a complete definition of computer forensics which i mentioned and you can easily find this definition on google also and wikipedia for more details so second topic topic is importance of hash values in forensic image like whenever we create a forensic image then a hash value generate always like md5 it depends on which type of uh, hash value we select during forensic image it will be covered in this i will mention i will tell you everything but md5 generally we use md5 like mess this is a message digest 5 so by the help of this md5 we confirm that forensic image is genuine and there is no alteration and for md5 just you can paste on google md5 hash all right so you can see md5 hash the md5 digest is a widely used hash function produce a 128 bit hash value algorithm all right so we gen we just use this for make a unique value to uh, whenever we create forensic image all right so this is a value of 128 bit which is highly uh, encrypted and which is which cannot be changed like for example if they we have created a uh, image of any file that will not if we will edit that file then definitely md5 will be changed for example i can tell you here hash calc if i have downloaded this one okay here now if i have a file on desktop let's go to this folder then this is the file then i'm opening it and i'm unchecking everything then just selecting this and then calculating it you can see this value not bad just here and anyway. you it should be so it is a 32 character value okay so keep it in mind md5 hash has 
32 carat alpha numeric character okay now this is the location of file now I'm going to this location this was the file right and now okay this is the value now if I open this file and just I'm deleting this instead of deleting I'm just typing small v and keeping some extra character and I'm saving this file now closing this and now if I click again calculate then you can see the value is totally changed okay and now if I open again that file and type again same thing and now you can see the value is same All right so in in case of text file if you if entire file will be same then md file will be generate same again but in, now if i calculate the md5 of this file like this is a cover letter file cover letter new and if i delete this like if i have only delete this and then i then save nothing changed i just delete it and typed again and same thing i am going to perform cover letter new okay i'm copying it now i'm pasting here and now again I'm going to edit this file okay J control Z control S control S and then again dot control S now see you can see md5 totally is changed right so in case of text file if fi file content will be same then again we can get md5 same value after any time okay but in any file instead accept this text file like word power file power powerpoint and acrobat file whenever we make any changes and if we will think if you are thinking that we will uh, keep same content then md5 will be same but it will not be same again okay so now md5 plays an important role in forensic computer forensic all right okay i hope you understand why md5 is important okay now third point is com why computer forensic instead of creating normal image same answer is like if we are creating image by any other tool like acron is true image there are many uh, tools available in market like if i'll say backup tool so there are a lot of 26 you can see here 26 backup tools are available on website okay here you can see 33 best free backup tools so these are only a backup tool forensically they will not help you to uh, represent same evidence file which is captured in earlier like uh, uh, there was a computer in 1989 seized and we created a forensic image from that 
uh, PC and now if this is a uh, two, uh, 2021 and if we will represent this that forensic image in forensic, forensic manner then we can represent that but if if we will say like uh, we have created a uh, backup of uh, Norton and Acronis and McAfee backup tool then it is not admissible in court okay so we just we will use only uh, globalized computer forensic imaging tools like for example uh, I'm giving a two example of here like FTK imager imager this is the access data company tool and second is end case imager okay you can you can download from here this FTK imager today you can, this is highlighting here and this is a computer forensic and case forensic image you can download from this website okay all right so this is the importance of creating forensic image by FTK image and case image especially instead of any normal tool now jump on for topic how do we create computer forensic image I'm going to launch FTK Major. This is the interface of F Access Data FTK Major. This is a 3.4.3.3 version, and uh, we have options here: Add Evidence Item, Add All Attached Device, and Mount like if we have already a forensic image then we can check the content of that forensic image here or normally we can create a disk image directly here okay you have option any option you can use for creating forensic image so I'm going to add an evidence item this is the main window of creating image so first one is physical drive physical drive means complete drive instead of folder okay if i click here then you can see i have attached only samsung ssd 860 evo 250 gb drive so it is listing here and uh, whenever you will run this it might be a list of uh, physical drive here like for example if you have attached usb then usb drive will be listed here then like if you have a cd cd drive in your compact drive then it will be also listed here so it depends on you how which uh, part of uh, computer you want to capture you want to capture complete complete drive then you need to select this option and if you want to uh, just uh, select any logical drive like a CTE drive for example I'm just showing here like I have only C drive here so only this drive will be listed here like for example it is showing C only okay so it depends on your uh, case like uh, your officer say that only capture a D drive, only capture F drive, only capture other drive or only capture C drive so you can select only that drive to for, for creating image and uh, for example if I uh, image file is just to mount that file again then create a same forensic image from already created file okay so this is for that one and contain folder it is showing like uh, by this title contain for folder you can click here then select any folder 
like for example I am selecting this mix folder and finishing then only we have added right okay now I'm removing here now this option will work to create image this is for adding items and this is for creating image now you can see also one option also available here to uh, CD, CD or DVD drive now I'm going to create I have only my system drive and folder so I will select that folder to analyze, analyze or create image so I've selected that folder and I'm finishing and now it is showing this window this is very important like uh, verify images after they created if you will select this option then it will take a double time of creating image of any drive or folder like first it will create and second it will verify that image that all files are same captured or anything missing so I would recommend do not check this or if you want to increase company revenue then definitely you can click here to increase time to make a charge on client I would recommend never select this option okay now it is asking for location where do you want to uh, create that image like destination path so here case number you can mention and never use any random case number just we need to follow a standard of case number for example I'm following DD MM YY then underscore then client name underscore location okay so you can uh, change this format as per your requirement I'm keeping here so uh, we, we can mention DDMMYY client name underscore location evidence number you can put uh, evidence number as per provided your officer like uh, it can be a p c t and then one two three four okay a unique description you can mention this is for live practical of computer forensics okay examiner you can put your name and you can mention specified note also so which will it will help you in future like for example now it is 12 for 2021 and later on after two years if uh, same case will come on your name and you are uh, accessing this so you can understand that okay you you created this case or next person can understand that you created this this case okay so this is very important to you then next and now you can put the location of this file uh, I'm creating this file on same fold instead of this I'm creating a this file and fold on desktop I'm keeping the name of this file uh, let's say CF F image okay and now you can fragment this file for speed up the forensic image like for example uh, if I do zero four eight so after completing first chunk of any forensic image then it will be split it okay then click here finish and then start everything is clear can check then then start 
now it is creating forensic image on that location okay till that till that this time uh, i will cover another topic like how do we get this is done and now fifth part is really crucial and important for all forensic examiner before they want to create any forensic image first one is storage then second thing is write blockers it's creating right okay so first thing is storage whenever you are going to any location like off on their premises or in your company and you are creating a forensic image of any hard drive or pen drive anything so you need to make sure that you have a double storage of particular source source means that PC or laptop from where you are capturing files and destination is your storage drive and every time whenever you are creating a forensic image make sure you have two drives right first one is master and second one is copy you need to work on this image only because master copy is only for representing in court all right so now i'm telling you i hope you understand what is storage and uh, how much storage you should keep keep in your uh, forensic tool bag in which you will have all forensic tools like n case and ftk dongle okay so make sure you have a double storage of any source drive or source location and now white block white blockers white blockers is uh, very important for creating forensic image to make sure that you are not editing any file so just uh, showing you uh, right blockers so here are all forensic right uh, blockers you can see so I'm just giving an example like this is a your uh, right blocker and this is a SATA drive and you can see this is attached by this and then this is linked to a computer and where a forensic image will be created or a location like it, it can be network location where that file is creating so this is a write blocker which blocks a timestamp of any file like this drive it might for example this is a hard drive which was seized in 1989 so what uh, what the uh, write blocker will do it will not touch a single file of uh, this hard drive it will copy or capture file in write protection mode so it uh, anytime it will whenever we examine this hard drive it will show like last access uh, uh, time was of this hard drive was uh, 1989 instead of now okay so by the help of write blocker we can make sure that uh, we are going on a uh, very safe way to capture data from any drive currently i don't have any uh, write blocker so i'm just telling you by online you can see here there are many type of forensic lab also here it's showing all right so now what the status of forensic image now you can see this is created image summary you can see here 
once you have created don't forget to copy this and paste it here so that you can be uh, sure that uh, you have created this file and save the uh, log of this file with that master forensic image okay it will help you later on as of now this is a testing so I'm closing and uh, everything is done now this is done okay we have created image now I am going to mount that file so that you can see how does this image file works you can see here and a log file also created here you can see here okay okay I'm adding this and I'm clicking on finish and you can see all things mentioned like path of that file okay and all files and location are as it is as we captured like from original path was this like user she human drive desktop mix okay you can see content of any forensic image by this but make sure you have a test drive by using forensic write blocker okay so we have created forensic image now we will examine that file in computer forensic software okay we have done this all are done now we are covering this practical part so uh, for uh, analyzing that forensic image this forensic image we will use uh, autopsy as a this is a uh, open source tool and later on we will discuss on in case how in case works and I will share you uh, in case live practical with a uh, free video so that you can understand how we can work on in case also so now we are going to use autopsy so I'm clicking this tool all right this is the main interface of autopsy you can see this there are three uh, options are here first, first one is new new case second was one is open recent case if you are already working in autopsy and you have recently worked on case then this option will work here and if you want to open an old case created by you or any location created by someone then you can open this open that case by this option so in this case we are creating a new case so I'm selecting this and as the same way uh, it is important to uh, name case name so make sure you are using standard as per specified by your department or your officer dd mm by by underscore client underscore location okay so this time I'm creating for single user base location of this is you can put you can change the location of uh, base directory in anywhere you want to save or network location okay so now I'm creating this case on my document folder to make sure I'm copying the location of this case okay next case number as this you can specified as per your requirement here I'm mentioning any number like two zero two one zero four and one two okay and case number can be underscore zero zero one right 
and here it is asking which file you want to analyze by this tool like XRY text export if you have mobile forensic tool a report file you can uh, do analysis by this option autopsy logical image result and unallocated space file logical file like uh, folder and files local drive as I discussed previously on FTK major and here is disk image or VM file okay uh, by this option we will by this option we will select that computer forensic or forensic image and do analysis okay and now it is asking for that file so we have created this file here this one okay and here this is very important for example if you if you have a data from uh, another country then you need to select a specified time zone as per client requirement for example client says the data is related to uh, ECT time zone you then you need to select that file currently I'm using any random time zone like here you can mention like uh, we have copied this you can you can put it here of this computer forensic image so that it will be verified by analysis later on okay so now I'm uh, selecting next now we have a many option to uh, do the further analysis like Android analyze, analyzer. If we have uh, Android files in inside that file, that forensic image, then we will check this option. I'm unchecking it. GPX parser. If we have a location related information, then we will check this option. We don't have this this file, so I'm unchecking all things. And then central repository photo carver then image machine okay so I'm selecting these options like interest interesting file identifier email parser keyword there is no email file so I'm selecting here and checking it uh, we have image files in, in it so I'm selecting these op this option also so now I'm selecting next so uh, i'm going to open a recent case which i created earlier and process a large data okay so this one was old case i'm clicking here Alright, you can see the image name was uh, here and uh, you can see all details are classified with types like attached USB device in system and what was the web searches was you can see here that uh, which word was uh, searched in web history can gun shop, infant view, CD, explosives, fake IDs. You can see all searches that was used during uh, the system was in use. Okay, you can see web history here. All websites, visited websites are here. You can see can see if email addresses can see 
list of email addresses are here okay so you can do analysis as, as per your end and I will upload this file for your use once you will complete the complete this computer forensic course you can see all deleted files are also listed here all file system and deleted files are here you can see okay and here the list of file types like by extension there are 2083 files or image files are here and it will definitely help you once if you have a case uh, related to uh, specified files like if you have a pornography or child pornography and video related co video related case then instead of going on on every uh, type you just jump on this and you can see all videos are here and you can watch or and do the analysis of any video and represent that video as per your procedure okay so here all our files type and uh, results are here and I hope this autopsy tool will help you to understand computer forensic deeper and more easy easiest way because this is totally user friendly tool okay so after that I will create a video on end case once it will be available at my end so till then I hope this uh, tutorial will help you to understand a little bit about uh, basic understanding on computer forensic live uh, forensic imaging and uh, do the analysis by autopsy tool that's all on this tutorial and thanks for watching this video